puck down. Um, Dean writes, with the large number of COVID-19 cases in the U.S., can contact tracing even be for, performed effectively and from, a res re and from a resource perspective, even if test results are immediate? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, to follow on to one of my uh, common sayings about this, to try to put it into some perspective, trying to do contact tracing under these conditions in this country is largely like trying to plant your petunias in a Category 5 hurricane. Okay, it's just, it's useless. And uh, that's why we have to drive it down. I, you know, I think contact tracing is a challenge anyway, just based on the asymptomatic nature of infection, people's concerns about disclosing information, how do we take care of people who are notified in terms of making sure they're isolated from someone else uh, in the public uh, if we don't have the resources to help them be isolated? Uh, there's just a lot of challenges with this. We did a viewpoint document on our website on contact tracing with some of the best experts in the world over the past several decades doing contact tracing, and I'd urge you to go take a look at that document. So I agree completely. I don't think it is possible. That's why right now, you know, short of bringing these case numbers down, I don't know what in the hell to do. I mean, I'm sitting here saying, you know, try to get test results back, try to limit your contact, but the numbers are so huge. It is like taking the only fire truck in the whole county to fight that 800,000 acre fire. You know, it's just not going to do anything. And so we've got to get them down to brush fires. And the only way we're going to do that is we got to basically smother this virus. And that's why I keep coming back to the only practical thing that will work is to basically limit contact with people for six weeks break the number of cycles you can of transmission and get them down, then I think we have an opportunity where we can do these things. It'd still be a challenge, still be a challenge, but we'll be in a whole different world than we are now.